Welcome to Sports Center CCF Edition. I'll be your news anchor for the evening, John William McAfee. The entire sports world has been waiting all year for this one crucial showdown going on this weekend, October 17th on Saturday. What is this event? It's not the NBA Finals. It's not the World Series. It's not even a Super Bowl. So what is this event? CCF Flamingo Football. Now, for those of you that don't know much about Flamingo Football, here's the basic idea. Flamingo Football is a game of just like any other football game. There will be two teams opposing each other, two end zones. There will be offense. There will be defense. There will be touchdown dances, there will be celebrations, there will be passes and interceptions, there will be pitches and tosses. It's a regular football game. The difference is there will be two teams, the girls team and the guys team, full contact football. The girls team gets to pick two guys to play on their team. And for the guys, it's a whole new football experience. Why, you might ask? because they have to play the entire game on one foot, hence the term Flamingo Football. Now there are a few key points that need to be understood about Flamingo Football before we get into the game on Saturday. So for, the, for those viewers out there that aren't familiar with the sport, listen in because we're about to dive in. The first concept is mainly for the guys. Guys, do not put that foot down. If you put the foot down, then that means you're out of the play. You get to choose one leg to play on before the start of each down. So don't put that foot down. The second key concept is about tackling, which is again for the men. There are three important steps. First step, guys, run up to the girl. Very, very crucial. The second step, give her a hug, like you're giving a hug to a long lost friend or like you've just met your mother for the fourth time. The final step is to fall to the ground while putting yourself between the ground and the girl. This is the optimal tackling procedure and will do you the best for your team and keep the girl safe. We have a few videos of how not to tackle for those of you who are new to this new realm of football. So first, don't tackle like this. Don't tackle like this. And definitely don't tackle like this. So now I hope you have a little bit of an idea of how to tackle the girls. The last important point to make is for the girls team. Girls, there is an undeniable fact here. You are much, much, much faster than the guys are on their one leg than you are on your two. The only thing you need to remember when you have that ball in your hand is to stay in bounds when you're running. There will be two garden hoses that are indicating the out of bounds zones. Don't go over those because then you'll be out of bounds and the ball will come back to the center of the field and the down will always start. Definitely don't keep running out of those bounds and into something like, oh, I don't know, a highway. <laughs> oh my. That would be very bad. So don't do that. These have been the three keys to Flamingo football for anyone who is unfamiliar. Next, we have our field reporter, Jennifer, who is over with the guys team. She's watching the men practice while interviewing their team captains. So let's throw it over to Jennifer. Jennifer, how you doing? Thanks for that throw over, John. I'm here with Jack Dobson, the amazing, who is the captain of the Flamingo Football Boys team. How you doing, Jack? You're great, you're fine. Yeah, you really are. So let's get into the first round of questions. How have your boys team been prepared? Uh, believe it or not, I haven't used my left leg in two weeks. Wow, that is so smart. Oh my gosh, you are just so smart, Jack. Anyway, so the next question. What do you feel like is your game plan? Our game plan uh, is to put points on the board, uh, get touchdowns. We don't care about first downs. We just want points on the board. That's really smart. That sounds like a great plan. 
So how about your strengths? What do you feel like your strengths are? Uh, our strengths uh, really are a can-do attitude, uh, and we also have a great kicker. He'll put points on the board for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That definitely sounds like it could work. Mm -hmm. So final question for you, Jack. Why do you think you're just going to destroy the girls? Um, most obvious, they can't touch us. Uh, we have immaculate spin moves. I hear Sawyer has been watching Disney on ice in preparation for this game. All right, Jack. You heard it here first, John. I'm here with Jack Dobson. The, the boys team captain. Back to you. So you want to like get out of here later or something? Thanks, Jennifer, for that uh, interesting report. Hey, can you get our sexual harassment volume on the phone? Thanks. Moving on to our next segment, we have a field reporter live with the Girls Flamingo Football Team Captain, Caitlin Oxford. Joe Brow is out there live. While usually Joe only covers professional chess matches on ESPN 12, we were running really low on reporters. He's doing it out there and he's doing a great job. Joe, what you got for us? Thanks for that throwover, John, because you know I just love to be out here interviewing football players. Anyway, I'm out here with Caitlin Oxford, who is apparently the team captain for the girls Lingo football team. Caitlin, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. That's great to hear. Let's go ahead and get into our interview questions. So how are you and the Flamingo football girls preparing for this football game? Well, this year we're trying to match our nails and our makeup to our mouth guards. Okay, sounds like it could maybe work. I don't know. What about your game plan? Do you feel like you have a game plan going in? What are you figuring out? Um, we're just gonna run really fast and jump on them and hold on really hard. Okay, sounds like something that could work. I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> what do you feel like some of your team's uh, strengths are? Um, well, as women, we have a very high pain tolerance, so that's awesome. And Sam's coming back, who caught the winning ball last year. Okay, well, sounds like Sam's coming back. That's so exciting. Can't wait for that. Last question for you, Caitlin, finally. Why do you think you're going to just destroy the boys' team? Well, the boys are really smelly, so that's one of their downfalls. And um, as a group, we're really strong. And last year, I took down two guys at the same time. Sounds great. Sounds like you've got it figured out, more or less. Um, don't really know. But thanks for the interview, Catherine. I appreciate the time. It's a long one. Back to you, John, in the studio. What is this? Is this office coffee? No. Go down to Three Tree, talk to my barista, Jenna, and get me my espresso. I can't work like this. Ha, <laughs> ha. Uh, thanks, Joe. Always a kid, that guy. Anyway, sitting here with me is the Flamingo Girls Team male team leaders. On offense, we have Zachary Farmer, and on defense, we have Haran Sutton. Guys, thanks for being here. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Okay. Well, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you're incredibly busy with practice and getting the girls prepared. Just have a few quick interview questions for you guys. Now, Haran, you've played football all throughout high school. You're an amazing defensive end. You've played throughout that. Tell me how this football experience you have is going to work in your favor against the, on the game on Saturday. Man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be lit. It's gonna be a whole lot of heat. It's gonna be high flying. I mean, it's gonna be a whole lot of energy being put out there. It's gonna be just. I'm so ready for it. Got a competitive spirit. Just can't go. Knock the hands off all the game. That's, all right. that's it. All right, I like that energy you got there, Ron. This is gonna be exciting to watch you, watch you out there playing. Zachary, you're sort of the motivational coach up here. Tell me how you're gonna motivate. Your team, your girls. Well, I'll just think of putting the play call and pulling the dead on the team. You know, One Direction, Harry Styles, Ariana Grande, Homie Spike Lockett. Just think that like the little on the Yeah, absolutely. All right, Ron. My last question for you. You were absent last year during Flamingo football. You've never been out there and actually played the game. How do you think you're going to overcome this disadvantage that you have? Man, I've overcome a whole lot of things in my life. 
And I just have always been competitive. Like, I'm just, I just put out as much as I got in play, 100% effort every time. So it's gonna be like, I don't know, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> it ain't gonna be that hard. All right, Ron Sutton, just gonna do it. Well guys, thank you for, for you taking the time to sit down with me and have a quick interview. Um, appreciate you guys saying good luck in the game on this Saturday. Oh yes, yes sir. Thank you again. All right. We're gonna take a quick commercial break and we'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. This is Sports Center CCF Edition. Are you feeling sad, lonely, in need of a getaway or retreat, some might say? Well, today's your lucky day. This Friday, we're leaving for the fall retreat. The fall retreat? What's that? I'll tell you what it is. The fall retreat is a fun getaway into nature with all of your CCF pals. There will be campfires, worship music, flamingo football, and dance parties. So grab your backpack, grab your sleeping bag, a couple extra clothes, and get on the bus. Leaving Friday at 6.55. See you there, friend. Welcome back to Sports Center, CCF edition. In our next segment, we take a look back at the history of the sport of Flamingo football. Flamingo football has been around at Georgia Southern CCF for over 20 years. And as you can imagine, there have been many all-stars take their place between the garden hose boundaries and throw on those pink and black jerseys. So we've caught up with a few of our old CCF Flamingo football veterans to offer some of their most memorable games, scores, and also to predict the outcome of this weekend's game. What's up, y'all? My name is Josh. I graduated from Georgia Southern and CCF this past May. Hey guys, I'm Emily Tanner. And I'm James Tanner. We graduated from CCF in 20, CCF and college, I guess, in 2017. Um, and then I stayed and did an intern year as well, so I left in 2018. Hey, hey everyone, my name is Luke Golden and I graduated college in 2017 and I interned with CCF for a year after that. My name is Maria Golden, I graduated college in 2019. Hey CCF, I'm Philly and I'm John. Um, we're at CCF um, about three years ago is when we graduated. Uh, my favorite memory from Flamingo football was uh, on the very first play of the game, I'm sitting here thinking like, oh dear Lord, oh dear Lord, oh dear Lord. And um, I remember there's a guy playing quarterback, he was like my size, and very first play of the game, there's a girl named Joy, and she like busted through the line, went and just like tackled him super hard. Her Later we found out she actually wrestled all throughout high school and over in Germany and she went up against some of the guys sometimes that she was that good. The Thursday night before the retreat when all the girls would get together to um, design their t-shirts we normally did like tie-dye or something fun like that. It was just always a really fun like bonding experience between the girls of CCF and then also getting to design the boys t-shirt. Of course, my prediction is that the girls are going to win. Uh, the girls never don't win. Um, so if for me to predict anything else would just be foolish, honestly. We won, of course, every time, the girls. And me. But my prediction is 28-21 for the boys team. Y'all have fun this weekend. Bye. 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 Well, that's all we have for you today. I don't know about you all, but I can't wait for the game this weekend. If you're not signed up for the bar tree, be sure to do that today before you leave Bible study. Thanks to everyone for tuning in. Don't forget, when you're on the retreat or just in life, stay hydrated, stay safe, and guys, keep those expectations way, way, way down. This has been John William McAfee for Sports Center, CCF Edition.